this is a real yard. Whenever you hook to a container and adjust the tandem, you have to look with your own eyes. Make sure the pins of the tandem are locked. You cannot just trust on a bull test. You have to make sure that pin is all the way out of the hole and even. You cannot just assume the tack test will work. If the frame is misaligned, the tack test will give you a false idea that you are locked. But here, look with your own eyes. Here is the frame of the chassis and here is the frame. That's the chassis and that is the tandem. You need to make sure it's aligned and these pins are all the way out of the hole, locked. All these chassis are not aligned because of the way the cranes handle them. You have to make sure the pins are all the way out of the hole and locked. As you can see here, this pin is not all the way out. But it's okay, because the chassis is a little misaligned, not, not too much misalignment here. If you put your finger here, you can tell there is a degree of misalignment, right? You put your finger here, see how much from my finger. And you go to the front, it's a random. Here is almost, almost there is no difference in the frames. That's why this pin is not all the way out. But this is locked and secured. You have to make sure with your own eyes, you can see it with your own eyes. You cannot just trust a tack test. A tack test will not help you. This does not have a sliding tandem. Because I don't know why, but most probably a different chess. That's a different chess. This is called it extra high cube chess. It has it has holes here to adjust the fender. This does not have any adjustment of the fender. Here the tandem is fixed. The tandem here is fixed to the frame. That, that's different chess. And you have to make sure the king bin is locked with your own eyes. The king bin is silver, shining. Here it is not, it is locked. There is no silver shining. And also you come here, you can tell that is a tractor and that's the chassis very close to each other, which means you are under the trailer and here there is no space between the fifth wheel and the coupling frame and here is the distance over two and a half feet from the end of the chassis to the nose of the container so we are very secure now if you look at the way the handle The chassis and the containers, you can tell you cannot trust guessing. You have to make sure you see things with your own eyes.